I'm Nick, and I'm 31. I've been married to Nicole for five years now, and I'm living happily. I go on business trips a lot, and I'm hardly home. But today, I was able to head back to the head office since I finished up early. Just then, my boss told me I could go home, so I decided to head back. I was thinking of relaxing, which I hadn't done in a long time. I'm sure Nicole is already home. I wanted to surprise her, so I went inside quietly using a spare key. Do we have company? There was a guy's briefcase at the front door. I wanted to know what was going on, but there was no one there in the living room. I suddenly held my breath as if I didn't want them to know I was there, and I went upstairs to the bedroom. Just then, I saw something terribly shocking occur right before my eyes. Nicole, won't your husband come home? It's okay, he's coming home tomorrow. Relax, I'm so glad to see you. I love you, Nicole. I love you too. I can't believe it. She took me for granted and cheated on me when I went away for business. And she had him come inside our bedroom too. Nicole was deceiving me all this time while I was working far away. Although I had seen something tragic, I needed to calm myself down. Anyway, I was desperate in setting up my cell phone because I wanted to get proof. And it was just when Joe had pushed Nicole down on the bed. So is that what this is all about? Nicole, you were that kind of woman, huh? I come home early and I find you doing this. I get it. Anyway, I'll contact you again. I'm getting out of here. I can't live in a place like this anymore. And I decided to leave the house. After I left, my phone wouldn't stop ringing. They were calls from Nicole. I was driving and I ignored all of them. I couldn't wander around, not having anywhere to go. So I decided to stay at a hotel for a while. Anyway, I was just so mad. I decided to answer to Nicole. If I had ignored her, my phone would ring all night long. Please, Nick, listen to what I have to say. It's all a misunderstanding. Oh, shut up. You're so annoying. That guy is a bender from our company. I coincidentally bumped into him in the middle of the street when we were talking about work. He suddenly got sick, and that's why I was taking care of him at my place. Oh, so that's what happened, huh? Since you go outside for work a lot, you made it look like it was work and was having an affair. No, I was just taking care of him. He was resting at my home. Uh-huh. So you two were getting intimate while you were taking care of him? That's, that's not it at all. You can pray innocent all you want, but I have proof. Plus, I even know the guy's background. What? How? Did you think you two were going to get away with it? I found the guy's back at the door, so I sneaked and got his business card from his outer pocket. So he's a salesman at S Trading Company, huh? It's one of the top rated companies. I'm sure it become a mess if they find out he's having an affair from daytime. Just come back. I need you to come down so that we can talk this through. No, my head's not clear right now, so I won't be coming home for a while. I don't even want to see your face. I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other if we talk it over. I'll be waiting for you to come back. You know, you're the only one for me. I need you to come back, okay? So I contacted my friend Brian, who's an attorney. I needed to get some advice on what to do going forward. Hey Brian, sorry to contact you at this late an hour. I wanted to ask you something as soon as possible. Can you talk now? Hey Nick, long time not talk. What's the matter? Are you in trouble? 
trouble. Yeah, I guess you can say that. Actually, it's hard for me to say this, but my wife's been having an affair. Are you serious? I came back early from my business trip today. I was going to surprise my wife and went home without telling her. And I caught her sleeping with another man in our bedroom. What? That's awful. Did you get any proof? It was a spur of the moment thing, but I knew that proof was everything, so I took a video with my cell phone. I knew the guy's background too. That saved us a lot of time. It was so unexpected. I couldn't help but panic. I'm still not myself right now. I just had to have someone listen to me, or else I'd go insane. Calm down, Nick. I'm here for you. So, what do you want to do? I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive her. So, I won't settle this with divorce in mind. Okay, leave it to me. You'll be alright. Thanks, Brian. I'm so glad you're here for me. I felt a little better after talking to Brian. I felt relief, but at the same time, I was burning up with anger. Brian helped me get ready for divorce. There was a lot to be done. And two weeks later, I contacted Nicole. Nicole, can you talk now? Nick, you finally contacted me, huh? Where are you coming back? Is it tonight? I was waiting every single day for you to come home. I even cooked dinner so that you can come home anytime. I finally heard from you. Does it mean that you'll be coming home? Yeah, I'm on my way home. Really? I'm so happy that you're finally coming back. Hurry, okay? Because I'll be waiting for you. An hour later, it seems Nicole thinks I'm coming home as if nothing had happened. I'm the kind of man who can forgive his wife for catching her with another man. But even now, I can't forget that horrible thing in my head. I'm going to make her pay until I get a peace of mind. That's what I was thinking when I rang the doorbell. I heard Nico running toward the doorstep. Uh, hey, why don't you come out? I'm home. I thought you were waiting for me. Hurry up and come out of the bathroom. I can't. Why is Brian and my parents with... Why did I bring your parents with me? I got advice from Brian. I want to talk about the future and I wanted your parents to hear out what kind of person you really are. That's why I asked them to come with me. How could you bring my parents? They have nothing to do with this. You never told me that you'd bring them along. If I had told you, wouldn't you have run away? No, no, I wouldn't have. I want to end the marriage with you as soon as possible. That's why I asked Brian and your parents to come along. Did you think you were going to be able to continue this marriage? Of course, it's only an affair. You don't want a divorce, right? You're kidding, right? It's fine now. I already broke it off with him. Oh, so you broke up, huh? Yeah, I did. He left right after you had left the house. He left a message saying that it's over between us. He is so rude. Plus, I got read off from work and even got a message from Jor. He sent a message to me saying that he had gotten read off from work because of you. He's treating me as if it were my fault. Is that so? Laid off, huh? I'm not surprised. Don't tell me you did all this. You told all us, didn't you? That's why my boss was furious. That's right, it was me. Of course I would, don't you think? I contacted the company if they were letting their employee salesmen have affairs with S Trading Company during working hours. It seems S Trading Company had done a background check of the guy too. Okay, I get it. Then that is more of a reason why we are not getting a divorce. You should take that responsibility. You have a right to support me, don't you think? No divorce? That's right, I broke up with Joel. There should be no complaints. 
but there's reason to get a divorce. And besides, I came back to you. Everything is fine, don't you think? So let's forget this topic and have everyone go home. If not, I'm not coming out of the bathroom. Then stay there all you want. I'll be waiting in the living room. It's rude to have your parents and Ryan stay in the hallway all day. We are going to be waiting until you come out. So do whatever. I didn't understand what she was thinking. She wouldn't come out at all. I'm sure she was thinking of how she could talk her way out. We were in the living room, drinking coffee for a while as we discussed what to do going forward. 30 minutes later, Nicole finally came out of the bathroom. She sat next to her parents in the living room, looking awkward. First of all, you know why I brought Brian with me, don't you? What is this? What's going on? Brian is an attorney. Huh? An attorney? I didn't know that. I asked him to come along to discuss the divorce, and the same with your parents. Huh? Why? Why would you want a divorce? I told you I already broke up with Joe. That's your side of the story. There is no way that you're going to get away with this. You deceived me. And I'm not going to forgive you for that. What? You're being silly. I don't see a reason to get a divorce. I doubt it, but do you think I love you enough to forget that you had cheated on me? Yeah, why not? You asked me so many times to marry you. You were madly in love with me. And when I accepted your proposal, you were so happy that you had tears in your eyes. Maybe so, but that was a long time ago. I can't believe I have such bad luck with women, but I'm sure no man would forgive their wives for cheating on them and continue with the marriage, especially after catching them on the spot like that. What? Are you saying that you hate me now? I thought your love for me was more than that. My love for you is lesser than you think. My heart isn't big enough to forgive you. Anyway, there's something wrong with your brain. How can you say that? Why is this happening? I just want to get a divorce. I can't go on with you any longer. You have yourself to blame. If you hadn't fooled around with another man, you wouldn't have crushed Nick like this. I don't blame him for wanting to divorce you. I'm so sorry. You have every right to be angry. I can't believe what you've done. Uh, you brought my parents and you made me look like so bad. Well, that's because you won't admit what you've done is wrong. My parents are going to arrive any minute now. Then let's settle the divorce. Oh, forget it. This talk is over. Gosh, stop acting like a kid. Fine, I'll sign the papers. I'll divorce you on one condition. What is it? You're the one you deceived me. What gives you the right? I'd divorce you, but I got laid off because of you. So you have to support me until I get a job and my life is in order. If not, I'm not going to divorce you. Brian, does Nicole have the right to give this kind of request? No, she doesn't. More like, since she used up joint property, you can charge her for money. What do you want to do, Nicole? After finally accepting the situation, Nicole came back to the living room to have the discussion. Actually, this isn't the only thing that I wanted to say. After finding out about her affair, I had hired a detective. It turns out that her affairs were not only with a man. Nicole's parents' faces went pale after hearing the news. It seems she had been juggling a lot of men in her relationships from before. It was normal to her, sort of like an addiction. And of course, I had no intentions of supporting her. A few days later, I handled in the divorce papers to court, and I have Brian to thank for helping me out. On the other hand, her parents were furious for finding out their daughter's actions, and they said that they were going to send her to see a counselor to get help. I think it's a little late for help, 
but I wish her the best. I really hope she strains things out and heads toward a brighter future.